and welcome to our fourth installment of Rad American Women. I'm Jess from CFL at PS169, and I'm filling in for Rachel this week. Last week, we learned all about Carol Burnett, and this week, we're moving on to the letter D. <laughs> D is for Dolores, Dolores Huerta. Dolores Huerta was raised by a hard-working single mother in Stockton, California. Dolores was an excellent student. However, one day, her teacher had her stay after class with a classmate. The teacher explained that Dolores and her classmate had turned in identical essays the teacher automatically assumed that Dolores was the one who copied because the other girl was white. Dolores decided to fight for justice from then on. After she graduated from high school, she became an elementary school teacher. Many of her students were the children of farm workers, the people who plant and harvest the fruit and vegetables that end up on our dinner tables. They worked hard in the fields, but made very little money. And Dolores's students suffered from the effects of poverty, often coming to school without shoes. The conditions for farm workers were terrible. They couldn't leave work to go to the doctor. They weren't allowed to take bathroom breaks and didn't even have clean water to drink. Dolores loved teaching, but she felt she could do more to help her students if she could help their parents. She became a community organizer working to help the farm workers win some basic human rights. Soon she met Cesar Chavez, another activist, and together they created a union called the United Farm Workers Association. A union's an organization that helps protect the rights of people who have the same kind of job. This union asked people all across the land to stop eating grapes until the men and women who picked the fruit were treated more fairly. When workers ask people to stop spending money at certain businesses because of how the businesses are treating their workers, it's called a boycott. Dolores also helped organize field strikes. A strike is when a group of people who work together decide to all stop working so that their bosses will take them seriously and give them what they need. We still have boycotts and strikes today. On May 1st, a group of workers who were employees at such corporations as Walmart, Whole Foods, Target, Amazon, Ship, FedEx, and Instacart asked people to boycott the businesses that they worked for because they did not feel like they were being protected against COVID at work. McDonald's workers in Oakland, California have started to strike after many of their co-workers have gotten sick with COVID-19 and McDonald's refuses to give them proper protection, like masks. The fight isn't over, but we can look to people like Dolores Huerta for inspiration. Thanks, Dolores, for inspiring us to fight for our rights. If you want to learn more about Dolores Huerta, and her work with Cesar Chavez, I suggest reading Side by Side by Monica Brown. This concludes our fourth installment of Rad American Women. Uh -huh.